What's going on guys? I have Boxy Charm. Woohoo! Yes. So some of the spoilers that I've seen from Boxy Charm, I mean there's obviously a few variations, so I don't know exactly what is in this box, but I am so excited because I know for sure there's a palette in here and I haven't previewed it yet, so I just know that there's one in here. Damn, I'm just why am I still talking? Let's just open this up. Here we go. First thing, I'm gonna pull out this shiny thing. This is the Pores No More Luminizer Primer by Dr. Brandt. So BoxyCharm sent a Dr. Brandt, I think it was like a pore dermabrasion exfoliator that I'm still using. Obviously they send full size of the products that they send and I still have it. I still use it like once or twice a week and I love it. So, and that's the only thing by Dr. Brandt I've ever used. So I'm excited to try something new from them. Uh, I mean, I don't know if this is necessarily new or not, but new to me anyway. I've already done foundation and stuff, so I don't know. Ooh. Now it says Illuminizer Primer. That would make me think that there's like shimmer in it. I don't see any shimmer at all. Oh, it just says on the back, uh, you can use it for a natural bounce of light on the skin or under makeup to prep your skin for a flawless application. So I think the luminizing is supposed to be like if you don't wear makeup. Either way, I needed a new primer. I've been using Monistat anti-chafing gel <laughs> for long enough. If you don't know about that, don't judge me. It's a real thing. I can actually post some information down below so I don't sound like a fucking crazy person, but Monistat, it's like a real thing. But anyway, uh, I'm excited to have an actual primer. Ooh, this is by It Cosmetics. This is the Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil. <gasps> What does a universal brow pencil mean? It says it's in the shade universal taupe. So does that mean it's supposed to be for everybody? Because I don't think that you can make a claim like that. This is the sturdiest brow pencil I've ever felt in my life. So this is an interesting shape for a brow pencil. Um, I don't know how, how well you can see, but it's kind of like an oval shape. That's kind of weird. This mark is from my Ipsy bag. Uh, don't mind it. <laughs> this is not like stiff and creamy. But I could see it making some really nice detailed brows. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to take my makeup off before I try all this stuff today. Next we have, uh, this is by Pure Cosmetics. This is the Bronze and Brighten palette. It looks like a cheek palette. Okay, okay. Look at that middle shade. Holy crap. I'm just jumping into it because... Oh my god. Oh. My. God. <laughs> my body can't handle this right now. Do you see that shit? Oh my god. <gasps> I just had to like swatch that, but damn, okay, let's see. I think this is supposed to be a luminizing blush, which I love luminizing blushes. I love what it does. Although I'm not sure I like the color of that. It's kind of a orangey color. Not my thing, but maybe, you know, I'll give it a chance. Uh, this is, this looks like a bronzer, which is also very illuminating. I mean, you can see the reflection on that. Wow, okay. Wow. I mean, you could use this whole palette for more than just blush, bronzer, highlight. Like, I mean, I feel like you could use all that for eyeshadow, like whatever you want. Oh my God, oh my God. I really hope this performs as well as these swatches did because holy crap, this might change my life. Next we have Girl Attic Beauty. This is a matte lip paint. Ooh, based on what that little color looks like, this looks like it's gonna be really, really pretty. Okay, before I get too excited, I feel like this is probably gonna be the same color that they always send me. I can smell it from here. It smells like a cake or something. Okay. Yeah, okay, so. How many colors like this do I have? I have like a thousand, and they all come from subscription boxes. I mean, it's a pretty color, don't get me wrong. I feel like I say this every time, but I'm sick of it. <laughs> like, I want my peachy nudes, or I want some adventurous colors. I don't want the same freaking pigment every damn time. I don't, I don't, like, really? Really? Dear God, I mean, can we please step it up a little bit in the lipstick department? I need some variety here because I'm getting Board. Last but not least, we have the palette I was talking about that I knew that was in here. This is the Glam Metals eyeshadow palette. Oh my god, okay. This is by Crown. I've gotten only a few brushes from Crown, but I've never tried their actual cosmetics. Oh, hell yes. 
Damn! Okay, so I think the only one that's not shimmer is this black metal one here. Uh, the Wicked looks like it might be. I'm gonna try the Wicked first and see if it is a shimmer. It has a light shimmer to it. So basically, I mean, unless I'm wrong about this black one. No, that looks pretty matte to me. Everything else is definitely shimmer. That is a very unique shade. That one is heavy metal, although it looks exactly like punk. Do these two colors not look exactly the same? Okay, let's see. Okay, maybe that one is a little more silver and that one's more blue, but okay, those are kind of the same. Also, Pop Rock and Rock On kind of look the same too. Like, <laughs> what? Where's the variety in this palette? Okay, they swatch a lot differently though. They look the same in the pan, but that's way different. This is kind of more of a goldish green. Uh, that's more of a, still a green, but like a um, light, almost like a highlight. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm stoked to play with this. I'm gonna go take all my makeup off and then we're going to try to put all these together. I'm so excited. I will be right back. Alrighty, so first, so first we're gonna go ahead and put this primer on. I'm excited to see what it's gonna do to my face without foundation on first. I mean, maybe if you weren't gonna wear any makeup, um, maybe this would be great, but I mean, I guess I don't ever do that because of how bad my dark circles are. It was actually a lot thicker than what I expected. It didn't really melt into my skin the way I thought it would. It almost kind of feels a little oily, but you know, maybe it just needs to dry down a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation and concealer and I'll be right back. Okay, so I did my foundation and concealer and I set it with a translucent powder. So now what we're gonna try is this Brow Power by It Cosmetics. I love this. I love this. I'm gonna try to get in a little closer so you can see. At first I thought that maybe this wasn't for people like me. Um, I have my eyebrows microbladed, but they're not, you know, natural. I do need a lot of help in the eyebrow department just because of my trichotillomania. I struggle to find things that can leave them looking as natural as possible. I feel like, you know, if if I was in front of a mirror with both hands and, you know, taking my time with this, oh my god, the things I could do with this. And even for people like me who don't really have a natural eyebrow, or for people who do have a natural eyebrow, it's perfect for just filling in because now this, that oval shape is super weird because, you know, I thought that was unusual, but it makes sense because you can get those really fine little lines or you could really fill in a big chunk, just depending on the angle you're holding this at. So I think this is genius. This is something I would buy for sure. <laughs> This retails for $24, which this pencil on its own is worth more than what I paid for the box. So wow, that's amazing. <laughs> but that price point is pretty ugh, for me. If this lasted a long time, maybe I would pay the $24 for it. I go through brow pencils really, really fast. So I get the feeling that for me, it wouldn't be worth it to spend the $24, but I'm happy to have gotten it in this boxy charm. <laughs> Next, we're gonna go for what I think I'm most excited for. So first I'm gonna go ahead and bronze. God, this is so pigmented. I feel like I just need to use a few little taps. Okay, I used way too much. <laughs> I may not have applied it the best ever, but um, I mean, I can definitely tell, oh my gosh, this is going to be one of my go-to items, like that bronzer, yes please. Moving on to this blush here, uh, again, I'm gonna try to be light-handed with this. Um, not only is this color not exactly one that I would pick for myself, but that bronzer was so pigmented, I just, I just don't know. Oh my god. I don't know if you can tell how actually like luminizing this is. On camera it might just look like pigment, but in person, I mean, it really has like a gorgeous sheen to it. It's not my favorite color in the world. I love luminizing blushes. Yes, yes. Yeah, oh, okay, so you can kind of see like it's got like a little bit of a, a reflective quality to it and I love that. Oh my god, I love that. I love that in blushes and I, I feel like those are kind of coming around more these days. I'm seeing them more and more often like they're not so unusual. Now the part I've pretty much been waiting for this entire time, uh, you know what it is. 
This I don't need to be so heavy handed with. Like, let's blind the shit out of my face. Let's go. <gasps> Are you joking? Are you freaking joking? What? Oh my god. Holy. I mean, what? I have never had a highlight this intense before. <gasps> this is my new favorite highlighter! Girl! Oh my god! This palette retails for $34, which I think that's worth it. I'm gonna run through that highlight so fast though. Damn. <laughs> but wow. Wow. I mean, 11 out of 10. Holy crap. <gasps> Next, I'm gonna go ahead and just create like a simple look with this palette. Now, most of these are shimmers, so I don't really know what I can get away with doing here, but I'm not even really sure where I'm gonna go with this. I like that palette a lot more than I thought I was going to. I didn't even, I have like blush on my boob, what the hell. I didn't even use any of these wet, which I mean, they're pigmented enough like that. I can't even imagine if you use those wet, like, oh my gosh, the pigment is great. The blendability is great. I mean, I didn't even use a transition shade and generally the black blended out okay. I think I was kind of wrong about that black. There is a little bit of a luminescent quality to it. I pretty much just use this in the inner corner here and then these two and then the black. I didn't touch these four here. These ones all did the job very well. I'm very satisfied with this. And also there's a little guitar mirror. How cute is that? <laughs> I love this palette. It's not made to be used just on its own. You really should use other, other colors, more neutral colors with this palette, which I will be doing in the future. It's more for a makeup collector and not so much someone who's gonna use this every single day because you know, you shouldn't be using shimmers in your crease and all that stuff anyway. So, you know, basic makeup 101. Last but not least, I don't have the highest of hopes for this. So I actually really like the formula of this. The color is very pretty, of course, but like I've been saying this whole time, I have a million colors that look just like this. And this also has a very strong scent, like cupcakes or donuts or, you know, frosting or something like that. If that's like not your thing, I would not go for this at all. It's very, very powerful. The stench is everywhere. <laughs> not that it's a stench, it doesn't smell bad. It's just if that bothers you, then this is not for you. Actually, the formula is really nice. Uh, I feel like it's not drying at all, but it dries matte and it actually looks really nice. I quite like it. That is it for my boxy charm. The real winner this month is this palette by Pure. I am so head over heels in love with this. That palette is great. You know what? Fuck man, boxy charm killed it this month. Everything in this box is something that I'm going to use like every single day. According to this, this is all worth over a hundred dollars of makeup, and you pay twenty one dollars a month for that. I mean, you can't go wrong. Boxy charm is the shit, man. And and I I'm always saying this, but if you haven't subscribed to Boxy Charm yet do it do it it is so worth it I, it is my favorite thing i look forward to it every single month in my mailbox i just i love it so thank you for watching i will be seeing you guys next week bye